What's happening? It's about uh, 15 to 1 a.m. And I figure I'd make this video regarding Mr. Bagel Boss guy, Chris Morgan. Now, if you don't know who I'm talking about, and if you haven't been on either uh, Facebook or um, Twitter or other social media, you probably may not know who this guy is. So uh, let me explain who this dude is. He's in uh, some sort of a fast food place. And he's screaming his head off. He has a, a newspaper in his hands. And he's complaining to the, um, I guess, the uh, woman behind the counter about, you know, something about the, these dating sites, you know, messing with them, fucking them over. He starts getting aggressive to some of these other guys who are taller than him. So, you want to go? You want to come at me? You want to go? And eventually the guy gets knocked to the floor, tackled down. That video went viral, obviously. Now this guy has earned his um, basically 30 minutes in the spotlight, his 30 minutes of fame, because apparently what it is, he's trying to make his um, this 15 minutes last a little longer. He since started a Twitter account and now a YouTube channel. Now, Here's the, here's the kicker. In one of his videos, he lights up a little bowl, a little small pipe. I guess he's a weed smoker. He says he's going to go fishing for a couple of hours. It's, it's the middle of the night, I guess. I don't know if the uh, Summer Lakes um, in the New York area allow that. I know usually uh, most areas are usually closed off, but I think this is probably a different area that he's going to do this in. I guess he also has a promoter, and he also says that um, now that I'm famous, you know, blah, blah, blah. Homie, you're not famous. You're just well known at this moment. <clears throat> now he says what he wants to do, he's, um, this, what, he says he, the reason why he lost his shit in that clip is because He wanted to give a, give his time of day to this one lady, only to get fucked over. And he said that he was sick and tired of having his heart broken. You're not the only one, dude. I can name many of the backstabbing cunts that have stabbed me in the back countless times. And I still, I'm still promising to make a video call them all out pretty soon. And believe me, I have a few to call out. I seem a little fidgety here. That's why I'm moving a lot. So now he's at it says uh, he basically wants to fuck and that's it, you know. Hit him up on his Instagram, you know, and basically he only wants women from the uh, the certain area where he lives you know I guess he wants them locally I guess he doesn't want any out-of-state women which I don't blame him now I have a few suggestions for this guy number one ditch the ego you're not famous yet And with the way you're going right now, you may not be famous for too long. As I said a moment ago, you're just well known for around this time. You're well known for losing your shit in that video. And as far as, you know, you know expecting to uh, just want to fuck, you know, want to bang some, uh, some girls, I want to hook up with some girl to fuck, and that's about it. Good luck on that. Many women are not going to uh, appreciate that. If you want, if you're that desperate for a pussy, go to, uh, say, um, a hoe house or the bunny ranch somewhere. Fly out to which I guess was in the state of Nevada or Arizona 
whichever that who whichever that place is located and uh, find some chicks there to bang. Just wear a raincoat. And I also understand for what I heard when I was on uh, This Is Life with Jess and Rocky, subscribe to, which is on the Super Ugly Show channel, subscribe to them. Pretty good stuff there. I was on there uh, this past uh, Tuesday night, again. Basically, if you, if you want to get laid, if you want to get a girl, I have some advice. Number one, as I mentioned, ditch the ego. You're not famous yet. Number two, not don't stop treating all women like e like they're a dog, spawn of evil. Yeah, I understand you had your you got fucked over a few times. I've been fucked over many times. All of us have been fucked over many times. Who knows, you might find someone who will appreciate you for you. And just don't come off like a rampaging asshole when uh, something don't go right. Women will be uh, very fearful of that. Because that indicates them that that person, the, if this man gets mad, he might strike that woman. Women are very cautious of that, keep that in mind. And also, when you lose your shit in public like you did in that clip, you come off looking like an idiot. My other suggestion is also lose the gut. It's no secret, you have a gut sticking out, and that's unattractive to most women. Hit the gym, work out, lift weights, Take walks, ride bikes. I take bike rides and uh, walks all the time when I'm not doing anything. And when I'm driving in my car, I stop at a, when I stop at the place, whether it's a Walmart, the mall, or uh, any other area like the uh, Target stores and uh, Target strip, the shopping strip mall that's uh, down the other end of this road here. I take walks. I observe. I walk around everywhere. I walk around like I Kendall Road a lot of times. That usually helps. And also, among the reason, maybe another reason why is uh, your receding hairline. Let's say, see, you don't have no head, hair on the top of your head. You only got a little bit on the sides. Bill Cosby referred to that as a reverse mohawk. Do something about that. Get a hair transplant, or just shave the shit off, leave it bald, go, grow a little goatee here. Who knows? When you, if you work out, you get a better looking body. You could be the uh, version of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Or in this case, Stone Cold Chris Morgan. That would help. You know. Maybe you'll get a lot more notice. Maybe you'll get a lot more respect. And if you do have a short fuse, if you do have a massive temper, Keep that in check at all times when something goes wrong. Women don't like guys with uh, short fuses. Especially women who have been uh, involved in past relationships where their spouse or partner was abusive. Control your anger, dude. All right. I'm about to continue my walk. I know later on today, me and my I'm hoping me and my sister will head out somewhere. I'm hoping we'll probably head out to the Old Town Spring area. And also, one more thing I want to discuss. 
it concerns a meme that um, a friend of mine uh, on Facebook named AT, that's his initials, he, puts, he posted this on one of those Facebook 24 hour stories. He said, it said, um, stop moving to Texas, we're full. And it shows uh, one of the Texas highways heading out to the Houston area and it was a whole bunch of cars all jam-packed. We're full. We got two. We can't have no more people. Uh, sorry, homie. The big reason why people move to Texas is because, number one, the better economic system is a lot better than where, is, uh, for example, where I'm from, Michigan, which economic system was into a complete crapper. Number two, better weather. During the winter time, there's hardly any snow. Only one time I saw snow, there was one time, and that was in December of 2017. It's on my channel. Should be still there, I gotta check. Is the YouTube, executives of YouTube having taken that down, I'll be very happy. Because I know there's a couple of videos on my channel are also gone. Some of the beginning ones I did originally back in 2017, they're missing. I don't know why. And let's, uh, and let's face it, you know, it's a better living situation. There's a lot more to see. And let's say, it's, and then plus, it's got a good scene around here. I mean, let's face it, the, um, the rock and roll from Austin, Dallas, Houston, a lot of good bands in that area. Pantera started out in the, the Dallas city. Alan Jorgensen, from the front man behind Ministry. He lives in Austin, Texas. I think he still does. King Diamond, the legendary um, god of satanic metal, the front man of merciful fate. He lives in Dallas. A lot of people move here because, as I said, better econ economy and better um, weather. So, and oh yeah, got to mention, the girl that I, was, uh, that I mentioned a few uh, videos back, KT, she moved near the Houston area. She said, Mich Michigan ain't what it used to be. You know what, she's right. It is not what it used to be. So I commend her for a movie down here. Alright, I'm Dr. Earl. Thank you for watching, folks. Subscribe to my channel. God bless the great state of Texas, baby.